Okay, here's an interesting phenomenon that happens with electronic low water cutoffs. This is, happens to be a McDonnell Miller PS802. I'm going to turn the power on to the boiler. I'm turning the 110 volt on. Okay, if you had a power outage, your power would have been out, right? Like lightning strike, whatever. I'm turning the power back on to the system. Now I come over here real fast and see the low water cutoff. The red light is flashing. Now look at the feeder. There's a dot in the right corner. That dot is indicating there's a call for feed. And it's still going. Now if this was a manual, a mechanical um, 101 there, the feeder just released the call for, for water. If there was, if this was a, a mechanical feeder, you know, uh, like, a, like a McDonnell Miller um, 101 feeder, uh, this this would have been filling water. The low water cutoff as it's setting itself after the power would have caused the feeder to turn on. And that's why they don't want you to use a mechanical low water uh, a mechanical water feeder with an electronic low water cutoff. You could potentially flood the boiler.